Hey guys, it's Andrew from HTC One South Modder, and today I'm going to be showing you how to unlock the bootloader and root your M8. Now, unlocking the bootloader allows you to flash any kind of like ROMs and custom recoveries that you would be uh, finding on XDA, and those are unofficial, and you don't so you don't have to wait for your carrier or HTC to push them out officially. And to root your device means that you could pretty much have administrator access to your entire system on your phone. So that means that any app that requires that permission to run completely will be granted that using an app like Super SU or Super User, both of which you get from the Play Store. Now, before we get started, you're going to want to make sure that your phone is at least 60% charged and that you have registered for an account at HTC Dev. That is required um, for this method. There are other methods that don't require HTC Dev, but this is the most tried and true. You would also going to want to make sure that USB debugging is enabled and that you have fast boot disabled from the power settings. You're also going to want to make sure that ADB and fast boot are installed on your computer. This process will wipe all your data from your device, so make sure that you back up any sort of pictures or movies that you have on your device because these, they will be lost. And also you're going to want to check to make sure that you have the drivers installed properly on your computer. They would have been installed with HTC Sync when you installed it. So if you have that, you're already set to go. Unfortunately, this method doesn't work with Verizon phones. So uh, we will have another guide on how to change that up for Verizon. That, um, that just has to do with the way that the restrictions that Verizon put on their version of the M8. So with all that ready to go, we'll go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to be doing is unlocking the bootloader. So in order to start that, you're going to have to put your phone into fast boot mode. In order to do that, first plug in your device to your computer and then hold the power and volume button down for about 15 to 20 seconds or until your device shows up with the bootloader screen. Okay, now you should be at your bootloader screen. You can see from the top banner on mine that I still have a locked M8. And in order to start the unlock process, first we're going to need to get the special identifier token that is specific to your device. So in order to do that, plug in your plug in your device to your computer, open up terminal or command prompt, and then type in fastboot oem space get underscore identifier underscore token. Hit enter. Give your phone a second, and then terminal should display your identifier token. You're gonna want to copy that whole thing, but ignore this uh, bootloader part. So just copy down from right here down. And then ignore it and then save it because we're going to be using that later um, on the HTC Dev website. Okay, from the HTC Dev website, you're going to want to first log into your account. And then after, you have, after you're logged in, click on the Unlock Bootloader option. From there, hit Get Started. At the next screen, you're going to want to select your device. So on the drop down menu, scroll down to the HTC One M8. Then after that, hit Begin Unlock Bootloader. Agree the conditions. There should be two screens that pop up, and then proceed to unlock instructions. Now you're going to want to scroll down to this first part. You already did all that. And then at the next section, you're going to want to go ahead and type that identifier token that we copied earlier. So just paste it on in, and then hit submit. At the next screen, you'll get a um, successful message, and that means that. HTC will now email you the unlock code that you need. So go ahead and check your email and then that unlock code.bin, you're going to want to copy that to your desktop and then we'll get started back in terminal or command prompt depending on which computer you're using. Now once you have that unlock code.bin on your desktop, we now have to flash it onto your phone. If you don't get the email right away, check your junk folder because it might be in there. And after that, let's get started. So type in fastboot flash unlock token and then the destination of your unlock code mine's on my desktop so I'm gonna type unlock code.bin hit enter and then it'll flash it onto your phone your phone will now display um, unlock bootloader option so using the volume up button select yes and then confirm it with the power on button okay after you got rebooted your phone should have um, prompted you to set up your phone as if it were brand new. So after you've done that, go ahead and re-enable uh, USB debugging from the developer settings and then um, download the update.zip 
and TWRP files for your device. Both of them can be found in the full tutorial in the description. So go ahead and check those out. You're going to want to have the super SU file directly onto your on your phone. But the TWRP one, that one can stay on your computer. Just to make sure you remember where you put that super SU.zip on your phone because we're going to be using that shortly. So after you have all that done, go ahead and plug your device into your computer and we'll get started in terminal or command prompt. After you have all that done, reboot your phone into fast boot mode the same way that we did before. Or if you want to be quicker, once your computer, once your device is plugged in, type in ADB reboot bootloader into terminal or command prompt and then hit enter and your phone will get to the exact same place. Alright, once you're in fast boot mode, go ahead and flash the recovery image. To do that, you're going to want to type in fast boot flash recovery space and then enter the location of the recovery that you downloaded. Mine's on my desktop, so I can just type in desktop slash open recovery twrp 2.7.0.2-m8. Hit enter and then it'll be uh, written onto your device and now you're going to have a custom recovery on your M8. Once you see that, you can go ahead and boot your system into TWRP mode. In order to do that, you're going to want to um, just hit the power button to get back into bootloader mode. Scroll down to recovery using the volume down button and then hit power one more time. If you did it right, you're going to be seeing the TWRP logo pop up onto your device, and then that's how you know you'll be in the right spot. In the TWRP menu, we're going to go ahead and install the Super SU package that we downloaded. So go ahead and hit install, then select the package, mind you the downloads folder, and then go ahead and swipe to confirm the flash. Let it do its thing, and you go ahead and wipe the cache and Dalvik if you want. If not, go ahead and reboot. So go ahead and hit the reboot system and your phone will restart back into regular Android. Once your device boots, there'll be a new Super SU icon in your app drawer, and that'll be able to grant um, root access to apps such as Exposed or Titanium Backup. And um, you could also use TWRP to start flashing custom ROMs onto your M8, or you could also use that to um, do S off, which is which further reducing the amount of security on your device so that you could um, tweak more system settings. Other than that, I hope this helps you guys out. Be sure to check out the full tutorial at HTC One Soft Modern. And like always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one, guys.